So once box cutter is installed, starting box cutter is as easy as pressing Alt-W. Exiting box cutter is as easy as pressing W. Whenever you exit box cutter, you might notice that sometimes your snapping panel might get stuck up on screen, and this might be due to some sort of bug with this refresh or something with the viewport. So whenever that happens, I just hover the mouse over, I'll show it once again, I'll press Alt-W, and you see that once we launch into box cutter, we move this in order to take over the top bar. And, but once we press W, we do give it back, and it does require that you put your mouse over in order to close it. Also, if you have hard ops installed, which is recommended, pressing Alt W will launch you into Box Cutter, and pressing Alt W will allow you to exit Box Cutter into Hops Tool, and Alt W will actually allow you to jump back and forth between Hops Tool and Box Cutter, with W allowing you to actually exit. And then, of course, here we see the double glitch, and we put our mouse over it, and it just goes away. But that's how easy it is to maneuver in and out of Box Cutter. In fact, if we press in, we can go to our end panel where I can bring up box cutter. And if you click on the word activate box cutter, it will actually activate box cutter as well, displaying the version name, which is also let, displayed whenever you hover over the active tool icon, as you can see here. So basically, whenever it comes to getting in and out of box cutter, you can just get in by pressing Alt W, press W in order to exit. Of course, be mindful of double snap panels whenever they occur. And with that, it's a pretty easy experience to maneuver around box cutter.